Are you one of those people who thinks that the Android app feature on Windows 11 is taking too long to release? Well, you don't have to wait no more since in this video, I will be teaching you how to force install the said feature on your Windows 11, so that you can install and run Android applications from within your Windows 11 PC seamlessly. And in case the Amazon App Store is not yet available to your country, do not worry, since I will also teach you how to sideload an APK file directly to your Windows 11 PC in this video. Please note that all the links and the PowerShell or command prompt commands that I'll be using within this video are all available in the video description below. You can copy and paste them all easily when you follow the steps that I'll be showing in the video. Let's get started. Alright. First thing to do is install the Windows subsystem for Android. To do that, let's go to the online link generator site. Again, you can get all the links and commands that it'll be using within this video from the video description. From here, select the URL link from the left side drop-down box, and on the right side drop-down box select slow. Then copy the Windows subsystem for Android package link from the video description and paste it in the text box of the site. Then click the check button. Many links will be generated here. At the bottom part of the list, find the one with an extension of MSIX bundle, then click that. If clicking doesn't download the file, like what's happening to me now, you can right-click on it, copy link address, then paste the link to a new tab of the browser. This should download the file now. This is a 1.2 GB file, so it might take a while depending on your internet speed. Once downloaded you can open the file location. Since we need the whole path of this file, I'm moving it to the root of drive C to make it easier to type in the file path later. You don't have to do this, I'm just too lazy to type in a long path, so I'm putting it to C. Now let's open Windows PowerShell with administrator rights. Let me do a cd backslash here to make the current path the root of C. Now let's type in the command add appx package slash path, then the full path and file name of the downloaded file, enclosed with double quotes. Then press enter. Again, you can copy this command from the video description. Wait for the package to be deployed. When done. Just press enter, then type it exit and enter to close the PowerShell. We should be able to find Windows subsystem for Android now in our PC. There, it is installed now. We need to restart the PC now, before we proceed for the next step. Okay. I have just restarted my laptop. Let's try opening the Windows subsystem for Android to see if it is working properly. Everything looks good. Next step is to enable the virtual machine platform which is required for Windows subsystem for Linux. To do that, open the settings. Then on the left side menu, click on apps. Then select the optional features. Below, look for related settings and under that, click the more Windows features. This will open a new window for Windows features. From here look for virtual machine platform. Check the checkbox beside it, then click the OK button. Wait for the changes to be applied to Windows. Once done, click on the Restart Now button to restart your PC again. The second restart is done. Now let's install the Minimal ADB, or Android Debug Bridge, which is a command line tool that helps communicate Windows to an Android device. ADB facilitates a variety of commands that we can use to sideload and install Android apps by just using a command prompt. We will need to go to the XDA site to get the latest ADB setup. Again, this link can be found in the video description. Just scroll down and look for the link of installer. Here we go. Just click on that. Then click here to start the download. You can click any of the mirror links here. Let's try the primary link first. If it does not work, we will try the mirror links below. OK. Looks like the primary link works. After downloading, let's open it. When you receive this same message, just click on more info. Then click the Run Anyway button. You will now proceed with the installation. In the last page, check the Install Universal ADB driver. It's up to you if you want to check the other two checkboxes here. I'll uncheck mine. Let me set this to everyone using this PC. OK. It's done. We have one more item to install, and this is the last one. The WSA tools. We need to go to this link, which again, you've guessed it, the link can be copied from the video description. From this page, just click Get to open the Microsoft Store. From the store, just click the Get button to install WSA Tools. Do note that you cannot go directly to Microsoft Store and search for WSA Tools. You will not be able to find it doing that. So going to the link earlier is needed to get the WSA Tools from Microsoft Store. OK. Installation is done. Let's search for the WSA Tool just to be sure. There it is. Confirmed. And we got all the tools that we need. 
Let me just pin all of them to the start menu for easy access. There we go. They are both here now. Android applications for Windows 11 can only be acquired through Amazon App Store, which has also been installed along with a Windows subsystem for Android. As you can see, we now have the application. You will need to log in using your Amazon account. Amazon App Store is the official Windows 11 Android App Store. So this is where you can officially get and install your Android needs. But unfortunately, it is not yet available to everyone, just like in our country. So, due to that, and also for the reason, that applications in the Amazon App Store might not be as diverse as the apps from the Google Play Store, it is very important to know how to sideload an APK file. Sideload means installing an application directly to your device without the need for an App Store, and Android application installers, comes in the form of APK file. The sideload an APK file, let's open the Windows subsystem for Android settings app. Set the subsystem resources to continuous. Then click the icon from files here. This will start the actual Windows subsystem for Android application. There we go. Back in the settings, below you should see an IP address generated here. If there's none, just click on refresh button. There we go. We will then need to copy this, by clicking the copy button beside it. Now let's open the command prompt as an administrator. We will then type in a command, adb connect, followed by the IP address we copied, just press Ctrl V to paste it. Then press enter from your keyboard. We can try the same command again by pressing the arrow up then enter. As you can see, it says we are now connected. Just to be perfectly sure, let's type in a command, adb devices, then enter. There we go. We have the IP address. Now, we can sideload or install an APK file from here. Just use the command, adb install, followed by the full path and file name of the APK file you want to install. In this case, let's try an old APK file I have here for Zombie Tsunami. Let me just construct the path and file name here. They're pasted to the command prompt. Since there are spaces, it should be enclosed by a double quote. Press enter. There we go. Success. Now, if you look at the start menu, you'll now have Zombie Tsunami just like a native Windows application. Let's try opening it. There we go. This is a really old APK file. I'm surprised it is still working. In case you don't want to use a command prompt to sideload an APK file, that's where the WSA tools comes in. After making sure that the device is connected as we've done earlier in the command prompt, you can simply open the WSA tools application. Then select an APK. Browse for an APK file, then load APK. Then click install. It is easy to acquire an APK file, you can visit sites like APK Mirror or APK Pure, or just Google the APK file that you need. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope this helps. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nobat Air.